Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video for your tropical update. And while we don't have a name storm out in the Atlantic, we do have some potential for development. This system that's been giving us rainfall in Florida looked like it had a better chance of becoming a tropical system but now models are showing this drifting more to the north and with the center of circulation drifting over land it's really going to inhibit development so there's only a 10 percent chance for this to become a tropical system within the next five days i'm thinking it probably won't the main concern with this is already the rainfall it's giving us and especially around the nature coast and the panhandle models are showing double digit rainfall around the panhandle over 10 inches uh, so flooding concerns would be a big problem with this, but it doesn't look like this is going to become a strong storm with high winds. And then we see convection all the way out in the Atlantic. No development expected from this, at least within the next five days. Then there's this tropical wave north of Puerto Rico, which is moving to the northwest. Here's Florida. So here's the wave. It moves to the northwest. National Hurricane Center has this at a 20% chance of becoming a tropical system within the next five days. Uh, de development is possible. It's not really an impressive looking wave. You're not seeing some defined circulation with this. There is some convection, some rain. If it becomes a tropical system, it will be named Tropical Storm Fiona, uh, but that of course remains to be seen. So plenty of activity, nothing that definitely will form into a named storm. So that's not too bad. We'll continue to keep our eye on the tropics. We're heading into the active period, August, September, and at least the first half of October are the busiest times for tropical development in the Atlantic.